everyone, welcome to this chat for you with Peter Wright and the English sisters. Good morning, Peter. Good morning, ladies. How are you? Very well, thank you. Yeah, we're feeling fine. How are you feeling? I'm pretty good. I've managed to sort of stave off. I've got a bit of a cold, but uh, it's in the background at the moment. On the back burner. Well, it can just on the back here now, can't yeah. it? Yeah. Not the wood burner, but the back. <laughs> the back burner, right? <laughs> just let it go away. We don't need coals, do we? No. 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 Visualise it away. Mind you, they're quite handy because they do remind you how nice it is not to have a cold. Yeah, it, it's yeah. that. They do, and they sort of force you to rest a little as well, don't they? Well, yeah, consider other things. <laughs> mm. How good it is when you have a cold. <laughs> yes, and how easy it is to breathe when you don't have a cold. That's true. Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? Because when we go to sleep, <clears throat> the colds tend to sort of die down and stop, don't they? Because, you know, the body shuts down in parts. And that's, uh, all right, some, because so the nose doesn't run when we're asleep. That is interesting, isn't it? <laughs> Sometimes when you wake up, you wake up with a runny nose. Yeah, but for a certain period of time, you can seem to manage to sort of put that cold on on hold, as to say. <laughs> put yeah. that cold on hold. Put that cold on hold for the time that you need to rest. That is oh, interesting. Oh, like, someone's going to take that slogan, aren't they? Yeah. Mm. Put that cold yeah, on hold. Because we're going to have a little TM afterwards. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we're we're yeah. going to say, put that cold on hold as you enjoy the rest of your day. That's yeah. right. <laughs> and that's it. It's and the it's rest of your day. It's the rest <laughs> of your day. What's Ooh. this? Oh, wait. What are the dolphins back? <laughs> Hello. We're still here. I'm still here. I can still see you. You're moving? Yes, which is we good. are. Yeah. No, we are moving. Oh, yeah. We've Some of your uh, audio is going. We've got a little bit of an echo. <laughs> it's not going, it's just that we can hear the the echo. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, but I think it'll be okay in a minute. Yeah, you're okay now. We're okay. Okay, okay Peter, so <clears throat> what would you like to talk to us about today? <laughs> what are you actually doing now that's yeah. going to really interest everybody? Yeah. <laughs> uh, at the moment, I've I've got review copies uh, sort of one or two, well, several out there, waiting for a bit of feedback on my upcoming new book. Wow! What's it called, your new book? Uh, it's called Mind How You Go. Mind How You Go. Wow, that's a really interesting title. And um, it's it's really a journey into, through, and out the other side of the mind, if you like. You know, wow. and having a look at. Um, how we how we deal with things, starting with how we're making our reality, and then uh, and then the processes that we're applying internally and then externally, and then how they, the sort of outcomes uh, come out at the end. So it's uh, it's 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 a book that's been uh, compiled from a lot of blog articles I've written over the last two years, and. Essentially, I've categorized them and, and, and added one or two that, you know, in categories where it's a little bit short of content. And uh, it's, it's, well, I'm really waiting to see how, how my reviewers, various, um, sort of how it's impacted on them. Well, we've, we've read some of your blog posts and they're very interesting. So we're sure that the book is going to be great. Yeah, it's 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 a matter really. It, it's quite long. <laughs> when I compiled it, I thought, "Ooh, this is <laughs> what I thought it was." Yeah, yeah. Because uh, you think, oh, you know, just a series of blog articles. It's not going to amount to that much content in page wise. Yeah, it has. It has because so, when you put when you put them all together, and in the, they've got the flow, haven't they? As well, they've got a certain flow, mm. so they're telling a story, like you say, mm. and you can yeah. you actually can see all the work that you've produced, and you know actually see in your hand once you have actually got the book, which is really nice as well. It's mm. nice for you to actually see what you've done. Yeah, it's quite substantial actually when when you do it that way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Because, you know, if you're doing it on a sort of daily, weekly, monthly kind of basis, you, you just don't know. You, you move on to the next one. And uh, and then suddenly it's like everything. When you, you stop and look back over your shoulder and you think, wow, where have I come from? Look at all this. I know. <laughs> it's amazing, actually. Oh, sorry. Oh, there's an echo. I hope it'll be okay. So what do you think? I mean, what would the readers, when they actually read the final page of your book and close it, you know, what, what do you think that they would, uh, how, how would they be feeling at that moment? Well, one of the things I think that it might be interesting for them to find out when they do read through mm -hmm. is that, that their mindset begins to change as they go. So it's not so much for, if you like, us on the inside, the initiated, um, but it's more the general reader out there. If, yeah. You know, if they follow the narrative through, yeah. there's there's a kind of oh, I have a different view of the world now because they've been almost been sort of drip fed it page by page. Yes. It's that kind of thing. So I'll be interesting to see <laughs> how how people have have actually perceived it and whether they uh, actually it helps them view view the world in a broader perspective or not. So you're like giving them different eyes, as to say. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, different. Yeah, so that they can view their own, if you like, small, small view of the world and broaden that. And also, you know, also what what everybody else's view of the world is as well, and how they interact with that when they when they're uh, in communication or or how they react to things that people do. And. Um, because that's that's really how we broaden our perspectives. You know, we don't just sort of sit on a mountain top and and view the big picture. It's yeah. really down to how we interact with each other. And uh, it's all the little interactions that make the big picture, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's 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 like every single you know, if you walk down the street, go into shops, and every single interaction is like a sort of. Uh, a small, a small. It's all part of the daily collage, the weekly collage of our lives. Really, mm. it's a, it's a fascinating subject, Very and I, I, I just touched on the edge corner of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, will this book be like in the self help sections? It's a self help, that kind of personal development uh, yeah. section. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, do you have a publisher for it? Oh, yes. It's uh, self-published because the first book I did was self-published and I was recommended that that's probably a good way to go. You know, you could spend years almost looking for a publisher. and But if you do it yourself, tread your own water and then see how it goes, really. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So I'm, uh, I'm with uh, Lulu uh, as a self-publisher and um, I find that they're really, really good from that point of view. Well, that's also interesting, this, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. So you don't have to go through the traditional routes if you don't want to. No. <clears throat> I mean, it meant that, in actual fact, I got these these copies done really quickly. You know, I got my files over over to them, and they were so they were sort of approved for uh, suitable, uh, not not suitable content, but you know what I mean. It, it yeah. actually it was compatible content. Yeah, compatible. And yeah. and and then um, you know, I, I, it just sort of went from there. So I suppose the whole thing was turned around in about two two to three weeks. So as well as being an author, what else are you up to now then? Well, I still do my uh, <clears throat> coaching. I have private clients, private clients for for sports coaching, private clients for therapy. So it's a it's a again it's a big mixture, and of course on a day to day basis, I'm looking after my dad. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And um, in actual fact, I learn as much about everything that's that's going on, everything I'm doing, when I'm looking after him, as, as I do with everything else, really. So it all just goes into one big melting pot. Mm, very curious, yes. Indeed. Very curious. It's a melting pot of the new ideas that are coming out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> it, that pot's getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> Exciting. So in the sports coaching, because my husband's interested in this, <laughs> she's trying to get. Yeah. So do you do like a golfing, any kind of sports, or are you in a so, particular niche? Is it running? <clears throat> well, I 
I do a lot of uh, technical and um, practical coaching in uh, <coughs> cricket and rugby. Cricket and rugby, yeah. Um, but when it, if it's anything on the, on the on the mental side of coaching, for instance, if any, anybody in any game, if they want to talk to me or see me about that, then you know I can I can go there for them yeah, you and, can and, and and help help them in that those areas. From because the mental side of any game is is a pretty big factor. Of course, it is. Yeah. yeah. Probably about 50%, 70%. At least 50, yeah, I would at say. At least 50. I mean, in a game like golf or maybe singles tennis, I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's it's much higher than 50%. <laughs> <laughs> probably like 80%. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Once you yeah. learn the skills, then it's all the mental, mental exactly. perspective. It yeah. is. Wow. Wow. So. I mean, one of the things I like, I said, I like, I like coaching uh, young young players, for instance, because they've got a much more open mind, um, and they don't have any hang-ups about or you know the mental approach to, to the game, and you, you can actually drip feed it to them in a, in a way so that it, it just becomes part of something else that they're learning to do. Yeah, that's really cool, isn't it? And it's um, nice to know you're helping these young people develop, and also, of course, it has the it, it'll have it'll have uh, what's it called repercussions. Yeah, repercussions in their life as well. Mm. Exactly. These learnings. Oh. So you know you're doing two things at once, really. That's it, definitely. And I mean, it's it's the it's sort of hidden rewards, really. Yeah. Um, and the fact is, I never get to see the the actual end product of of a lot of the stuff I do. Oh. You know, I I, I do. In terms of in life terms, should we say? I mean, if if I see somebody between the ages of let's say nine and fifteen, yeah, you know, if they, if they can put up with me for that long, then you know, by the time they're they're twenty, twenty five, thirty, there's still stuff that that we've touched on, um, although it might be in a sporting context, mm. that by then it's been useful for them in life, but only when I in me meeting with them and talking with them at length, well, I know how much that's been an effect on them as well. Okay. Unless, of course, they, they come out and tell me. Yeah. And I do get that occasionally, and that, and that is really wonderful feedback. So now that we've got yeah. this chat here, they're all going to come and tell you. They're going to see out there. The young ones will see you on YouTube. They'll be saying, hey, that's my coach. <laughs> Hiya, coach. Uh, I can remember doing, doing something rather... Well, for some people, rather curious. It was half time in a rugby match, and um, you know there were several of us who were, who were who were sort of dealing with the team, talking with the team, and, and I, my bit came in at the end, and I had about half a minute, and uh, the side were losing quite badly, and uh, <laughs> but I talked to them for half a minute. They they just listened and did some synchronised breathing, and I think within twenty minutes of the second half, they'd actually. Got back and taken the lead. Wow! Uh, all those people who were involved in that still, you know, they will remember it to this day because it was for them pretty weird. Well, how did that happen? How did that happen? Yeah, hmm. but the fact is that they just they just got in sync with each other in, in a in a rather interesting way. Yes, <laughs> we can imagine <laughs> synchronized breathing. Yeah, we can. Yeah, yeah. obviously, they you know. Other than conscious minds, we're all, all one. We are, and that yeah. really pro proved it, you know. Although I didn't dare say that to them at the time. No, 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 no. it can be a little bit. They'd have thought, oh, wow, what a weirdo. <laughs> no, no, they would have, yeah, but that's what happened. Yeah, exactly. That's what people will be saying 19, 20 years' time, I think. Mm. have to give it another 20 years and then it will just be, well, I don't know, it's starting now. It is starting, it? yes, definitely. Mm. Maybe 10 years. Mm. And then everyone will just speak about it openly, won't they? Well, I think so, yeah. The brain's capacities and so on and so forth will be spoken about easily in the future, yeah. starting from yeah. now, obviously, with this these kind of chat views. These kind of videos, yeah. and they, they, bring it, they bring it out bring into, the, ground. into the light, don't they? Yeah. These kind of new techniques and... Oh, hypnosis and trance and, you know, yes. investigating how the mind works, mm -hmm. synchronizing, you know, people's other than conscious minds together like what you did with that group of 
young people was amazing. That was amazing, and they actually won the game. <laughs> so where can, where can uh, people contact you? Where can all our friends contact you? Well, um, I've got a I've got my main website, which is uh, pjwhypno. dot co. dot uk. Uh, I've also got a couple of blogs. Um, one of which is uh, is it's called um, mentoring skills performance, mm -hmm. and the other one is mind how you go, which is the name name of the, the book that, that's coming out shortly. Um, my my various contacts are on, on all of those. So, you know, you can you can either follow me there or, or you email me from there. Um, I'm also available at peter at pjwhypno.co.uk. Right. And, um, yeah, yeah, essentially, any Twitter, any questions. Twitter, I'm, I'm also on, on Facebook and, and Twitter, as you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, in actual fact, it's quite interesting on Facebook because I've had people message me with you know queries about performance and things like that, and we've we've actually done stuff just message message to each other like that. They've gone away and then they've come back maybe a week, two weeks later, and have said, "Hey, that worked." And I'm thinking, what a brilliant, what a brilliant way of just you know, you know it didn't cost me or them anything. You know, they've gone away and changed stuff. So uh, you know, that's really interesting. So I'm on I'm on Facebook just as Peter Wright. Yeah. And I'm on Twitter as Guru Pete. All one oh, word, <laughs> but it's not G U R U. It's it's G O U R O U X. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Slight difference. Which isn't a, which is French, but it's not a word. So yeah, it, it's yeah. I just made it up. Yeah, <laughs> that's cute. That's curious. We were actually we noticing that. We made up a lot of words. Like we made up the chat view. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You know, we, we like, like it. We like experimenting. With and, and how soon will it be in the dictionary? Chat you. Well, let's hope yeah. so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you've arrived when you're in the dictionary. <laughs> I know, when you're on Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, Great. Peter. Then thank you for talking to us. It was a pleasure. Thanks. It was fascinating. Yeah. And maybe we can do it again sometime. Yeah, that would yeah. be really interesting. When you when your book's out, and you know mm. we can. Maybe have a copy of it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, brilliant. bye, Peter. Bye okay, bye-bye. All the bye -bye. best. Bye. Bye. Thank you.